Get ready to make your choice. Bonaparte Mizutori versus Otacon and Astolfo. Hello, darlings! Welcome to the first Losers Round 1 match, or LR1M1. If you like to keep things short, just like my dating career. Ouch! Self burn jokes! You don't hear those often! Yeah! Sly burn to myself. Speaking of burns, you and your next opponent have taken quite a sting in the votes. Yeah. Miku was a strong opponent. She kicked my butt in the votes. By the way, what happened in the fight between the four of you? The voters and viewers got a cliffhanger ending, so um... How did it end? She squirted ink in my face, grabbed the camera, and hit me in the back of my head! I need to learn how to use an emergency squirt! Really? Marina squirting ink? Sounds gross and way out of her character. Astolfo, the closest you can squirt is peeing. Oh. Speaking of draining the snake, any news about him? Before I fought Miku, I tripped and fell on my face. Everything went black and she disappeared. Marina hasn't seen her after her match. Well. That's awful to hear about the aftermath, but not as unlucky as Bonaparte. He got the worst outcome. <laughs> Grape Coon got a landslide stomp? I lost the tiebreaker. You tied with him? That's sad, bro. Can I crush your balls? I thought the fanbase loved Pokemon stuff! It seemed Grape Coon's Kimono Friends and Penguins offer was much stronger than I thought. But Tide? Hmm. Not expected. So, how are you all holding up on your losses? Is this the part where I get to slander all of the voters against me along with the coin tosser? Uh, da darling, no, no. Uh, get, get away from the camera. You're also going to be talking to all the viewers who voted for you, too! Oh, well, if that's the case, um... Uh, shoutouts to you all! Um, y'all have good taste! I still won't give up on the search for Snake. If Miku can't tell me... What now? I might be of assistance. Ultra Instinct Skepta recently upgraded my Lucky Clamp Pearl. So if he's not here, I can do this. And how is that going to help him exactly? Lucky Clamp Pearl, do your thing. How may I help you today? Huh, Skeptile made his own Mr. Meeseeks box? You know that show? Shut up. Can you take us to the time point where Snake was captured by Hatsune Miku, please? Alright, alright. However, please note that you will be unable to mess with the time flow. Therefore, everyone will be intangible and invisible. Got any questions? Ah, oh, man. I wanted to disrupt the canon event. Me too. Imaginary technique. Purple. <laughs> it's cold. Huh? What is that building? Uh, where am I? Well, technically speaking, when am I? 
Hmm. Astolfo? Bonaparte? Where could they go? Hmm? Could that be... Hmm. That noise. Could it really be him? Wow! Is that really Solid Snake? Hey! We should go get him! Hmm. Sounds like Snake. But is it really him? <laughs> yep. That's him, alright. Uh, why couldn't Otacon get his own tickets instead? He's smart enough to know never to do something like this. Oh, Snake. Where's Astolfo Bonaparte? Uh, where am I? Where is that fat penguin? Welcome to Shadow Moses Island! Uh, uh, okay... Wait, isn't that a stage in Smash? Believe it or not, despite being called Shadow Moses Island, this isn't really the real place. I mean, do you know any place in Saffron City where there are flying platforms all over the place? Hmm? Oh, that's interesting. So, what now? Wanna head inside? Uh, Alstolfo? What? About that. Uh, Skeptile said that we are intangible and invisible, meaning that we're pretty much unable to touch physical things. So we're just gonna have to wait for someone to come on and open the door for us. That means we're stuck here! What are you gonna do now? Well, at least Otacon is somewhere here. But where is he? Maybe perhaps he's inside. How far is Snake going? Where does it all end? <sighs> Great, it's probably him. It better be good what's going on up there. This is probably a time where I gave Snake the codec about Miku. No, right. Show yourself. What's the magic password? Get out here. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Fine, 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 fine. <laughs> I'm telling you, that was a very, very tough spot. Uh, kind of got stuck in there for a little bit. <laughs> well, anyways, hey, Snake! So, you finally decided to show up. I thought you wouldn't. You got the goods? Yeah, 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 of course, I, I do have your tickets, but, um... You exactly know what to do on my end, right? <sighs> I don't get paid enough to be someone's shopper and receiver. Of course! I got your other reward, one entry to that dog sled race coming up next year, some idiot race, right? It's called the Iditarod. Honestly, there is no way anyone can say that and get that right on the first try, David. And um, what's the other thing I have to do again? He did? And how exactly? He isn't someone who does publications and promotions. I heard there is an upcoming tournament and Marina needs somebody to work with. I don't do tourneys, Dennis. Two times was enough. Oh, come on, man. You're breaking our promise. Oh, my. What do I have to do? Simple. All you have to do is wear the Hatsune Miku costume. 
my friend got it dry cleaned a couple days ago, so it shouldn't have that weird sweat <sighs> smell. This is big news. I wonder what the other two are doing. Hmm? Hmm. I can hear them through this wall. They must be having fun outside. Get away! Get away from me, you black gumdrop! Oh, come on! It's just warm. Besides, I'm your only warm here until this whole time traveling stuff is done and whatnot. Now give me some sugar, or you're gonna get pneumonia! I wanna have that and touch you! And well, it is obtainable. I'm sure the second DLC of Scarlet and Violet allows you to get me. Hmm. The more I think about it, the latest DLC allows people to get Craig, Longboy, Trish, Julio, and me. Holy moly. We can all be available in Paldea together! I'm not a big fan of those sandwiches, though. Hmm. That is gonna be a pickle. You're just like everyone else. All ganging up on me because of what I said earlier. You know what you said. Might as well come out with everything. Okay, okay. I'll talk. Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man. Hmm. Yes. I know the Muffin Man. Who lives on Drury Lane? She's married to the Muffin Man. The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! <laughs> the Muffin Man! Geraldine is married to Alejandro? Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Ooh, this is such gossip. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Attention, you three. The limited time travel stage will soon be over. Everyone will be back in normal time. Oh, dare you are, you two. I was wondering what happened. Whoa, how did you do that? Yeah, you just went through that wall like a ghost. Well, we're intangible. We can just fade through walls because we can't physically go through the stage of the past. So, what have you two done? Yes? This chubby freak was trying to hug me! And it's cold! Achoo! Hey! I'm right here, you know! Also, I'm not fat. I'm just Big Bird. Big Bone. Big Bird Bones. Yes! So that giant fork on your face is not an actual fork, right? You know the snow here isn't really affecting us, right? I don't feel chilly at all. Hmm. I was wondering why the weather was a little bit off. So, Otacon, what did you find out about Snake? Well, if I told you, you wouldn't believe me, but... I found out that Snake is actually Hatsune Miku! And he's in this tournament right now! What?! No way! Wait a minute. If we're on the stage of Shadow Moses Island, then... Where were you this entire time? Uh, the actual Shadow Moses Island? Then, you're telling me that this entire place is not really the stage? Nope, this is the tank hanger of the room. So, who wants to break the news when we get back? Oh, not me. I'm not ready to hear an octopus scream when I get back. Me neither. It's more of her attacking me. It still hurts. Well, Otacon, looks like you're the one. I mean, after all, you are the reason why he's in this mess in the first place. Well, considering that Miku was snake all along, I guess my time here is over. You can win this match if you want to. You what? Well, I mean, look, it's just... You're gonna throw the towel away like that? Come on, where's the fun in that? I'm only here in this tournament to find out what happened to Snake. 
And I did. I don't need to go on anymore. We can all head back home now. Uh, hey, uh, Skeptile. Can we leave now? I think we're done here. Wait, really? Uh, okay, hold on. If we lose and we get eliminated in the first round, I am so gonna fuck! <laughs> Get ready to make your choice! Bonaparte Mizutori versus Otacon and Astolfo!